Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this little series that I'm going to make on Windows Server 2012. Um, I will be running through all the way of how to actually set up the server um, and then end with uh, different applications for the server and uh, how to use all the different applications that Windows Server 2012 has to offer. So. First of all, in order to use a server, you must have it set up. So that's what we're going to start out with today. So right here I have VMware Fusion for the Mac. Um, what VMware is, is it's a virtual machine software that runs on Mac as well as Windows. Um, what it does is it creates a virtual little environment for an operating system to run in so it, it acts like a computer but you're running it as an application so you can run a full operating system while still having OS X running on on a Mac um, I use this if like uh, sometimes I need to run a Windows program I'll open Windows 7 Ultimate here and uh, you know run the program do what I need to do and then I can just turn it off um, what you can also do for the Windows Server uh, 2012 or any Windows Server is actually put it on a server. Um, I do actually have a server, but since this is uh, actually setting it up, I already have this server configured, so it wouldn't really uh, fit well into the video series. Um, but you could put this on a, an actual computer. If you have a spare one laying around, you can just throw it on there and uh, you can use any computer uh, as a server. Um, just the only thing that would differ is the traffic of your server. So if you're just using it for yourself to learn to play with, maybe for like, you know, no more than like 50 clients, maybe 25 at the, at, at the least, uh, this should work fine just to throw it on a computer. Uh, when you when you need to actually deploy it or actually use it as like a web hosting uh, computer, then you'll probably have to get a server or something that can handle that much process. Uh, so, what we can start out with is downloading Windows Server. So, we will open up Safari here. And the best part about being a college student is getting free stuff. So, if you will go to dreamspark.com, once it goes here, you can sign up with a .edu account. And this can be if you are actually in college right now or if you previously were, it doesn't really matter. But you can go on to DreamSpark and you can download uh, Microsoft software for free. So you have Visual Studio, blah, 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 Windows Server 2008. We have Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2. So we will download the R2. That is the new, it's equivalent to the Microsoft uh, Windows 8.1 update. So what you do is you select English, I'm if you speak English, and what you want, standard, this is the standard Windows Server, while data center is used for, obviously, data centers. Uh, if they need more servers to communicate to one another, uh, the data center adds it to be a little bit more fluent with one another. I don't know how exactly, but um, that's what I take the standard and data center to be. So you'll click download. You will need to do this on a Windows machine, unfortunately. Uh, it downloads a little download helper uh, that can only be run on Windows. Then you will download that, get the key, and it will run it as... Um, I don't want to say this. It, it'll, it'll download it in a certain file that that application uses it. And then when it's done, it will sort of extract it into an ISO file. Uh, which is the file that operating systems come compiled in. So let's go back to VMware. Let's throw this on another desktop. All right, so I already have it downloaded. So I will click New, and this will be in VMware. Otherwise, in a computer, you just put the disk in, boot from the CD, 
Um, if you don't know how to boot from a CD and install an operating system, you'll have to check out some other videos on YouTube for that. Uh, I don't have time to um, go through that on this video. So we want to install from disk or image. And we will have to first, when that ISO gets downloaded, you will have to mount it on your desktop. So we go to Documents and we will click Windows Server 2012. And it will now mount it on the Mac desktop. Once again, it's different for Windows. Um, so right there it is. We'll click Open. Open. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. You don't want to mount it. What you will do is you'll go to where it is and you actually just click right on the ISO file. So you click continue, you'll tell it what it is. Uh, so we'll go down, try and find Windows. Okay, so the uh, Windows Server 2012 right there. All right, that all looks good and we will save that in the virtual machines folder. So now it will run through the setup. Uh, this is what you would actually see if you would boot it up from a computer. Um, it'll go through the whole setup process and um, it'll be pretty much the same thing. Uh, like I said, this is running a full operating system right now, so it's running Windows on my Mac. So, you get the, the regular prompt. Uh, you want to install now. Um, otherwise, you would have to format the drive that you want to put it on, blah, blah, blah. But since you chose that you wanted Windows Server 2012, VMware automatically did everything for you. So here's where we want the key. And I can't remember what version this is. We'll try data center. Get a key. Doesn't like that. There we go. Copy that and paste it in. All right, it doesn't like that either. Okay, now we have the server core installation and the server with a GUI or a GUI. Uh, the server core installation will just install the files to run a server. Um, if you guys are watching this video, most likely you have no idea how to run a server, so you will want to choose the second one here with a GUI. A GUI or a GUI is a graphical user interface which is used to uh, your operating system is a is a GUI based um, software. Uh, it it pretty much will um, have a it uses pictures and everything, while the other one will actually just use like a text prompt, like command prompt or terminal. Um, so if you want to see all this and you don't have it real looking real nice and everything you will want to use the graphical user interface and essentially it will look just like Windows um, which is really nice uh, you can use it just how you normally use your Windows computer um, or your Mac it will all run about the same way so I will now pause this video and we'll wait till this loads and I'll be back for you guys Alright, and we're back. So this will be the first thing that you're prompted with. 
I uh, just need to set an administrator password, which the administrator rules all in the Windows Server world. All right, so on any other computer, you will press Control Alt Delete. I believe with VMware it is Control Option Delete. Yes, Control Alt Delete on here as well. Um, it's just a little bit different for VMware most of the time. And you will now just simply type in that new password. And voila, you have now set up Windows. And we will hit yes. And I am actually on a commercial network right now. Uh, so my stuff will look a little bit different than yours. Um, but once again, it will be all the same. So, let's just change the screen resolution here, make it look a little bit nicer. All right, all the way up there. Go down a little bit. And like any other new operating system that you get, you'll have to play around with it a little bit. In order to get it set up the way that you need. Alright, that looks good enough. Now that it fills the whole screen. Okay, and that is how you install Windows Server 2012 um, on both a virtual machine and on a regular computer. So, I hope you guys will um, check out the other videos in this series. Um, I don't know how many videos it will be but everything will be on YouTube um, in a playlist where you can watch them nonstop. Um, it's one of the new things that I'm going to try to do. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions on what you would like me to show you guys how to do, uh, just comment below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you guys.